Tonight we are digging deeper into school safety, looking at threats and violence on a national level. Simply put, the number of reported threats has gone down in recent years. However, the rate of violent school-related incidents is on the up. That is according to the nonprofit Educators School Safety Network. Let's begin with the threat numbers. Here is a look at the picture for you after the last over a five year period. Now you're going to notice a gap right there. That is because of the COVID-19 pandemic when full calendar school years were interrupted across much of the country. So we begin here during the 2016-17 school year. There were more than 2,000 school threats reported. That jumped to more than 3,400 in the next year and it actually dropped a little bit by 2018-19 to around 3,000 paused for COVID-19. Then we're seeing another decrease here. We jump ahead to 2022-23. The reported school threats that calendar or school year fell to just under 2,000 and it pretty much stayed the same by 2023-2024. According to the report, there are a number of factors here that may have contributed to this decline, such as the implementation of more severe consequences for those making threats or possibly improved investigation and response to the threats received. However, according to the Educators School Safety Network, because these threats are considered commonplace nowadays, a sad reality, and not always being reported, the post-pandemic data may not be a true reflection of the actual school threats occurring. We want to take a look now to violent incidents being reported in schools during that same time span. From 2016 to 2017, we saw 113 or 131, that is, incidents being reported. And we see seen that go up to 374 by 2018, 2019. Then we pause again for that pandemic. Look at this though, nearly 700 incidents reported by 2022, 2023. A slight decrease here by the time we get back to 2020, 23, 24. When you do the math though, from here to there, we're seeing an increase of 300% from 2016 to 2024. Final note here, violent incidents come in many forms. The category we just showed you, there are those gun-related incidents, either a gun on campus, shots fired, or an actual shooting. Then there are possible explosive devices, physical fights, and stabbings or knives being found on campus.